A very warm welcome. You're watching the news with me, Anubhuti Gaur. Let's take a look at what's making headlines. Andhra Pradesh Assembly clears law for tougher punishment, including a death sentence within 21 days for those guilty of crimes against women. This comes after the brutal rape and murder of the 26-year-old Wet in Telangana. The law has been dubbed the Disha Act after the name given to the woman in the social media campaigns and protest after the horrific crime. Union Minister Smriti Rani on Friday launched a scathing attack against Congress leader Rahul Gandhi for its comments over rape incidents in the country and asked a Lok Sabha MP to make it clear whether all males in the country were rapists in his eyes. She said it is the first time in the country's history that a son from the Gandhi family gave a call that the woman be raped in India. Amid ruckus over the rape in India remark, Rahul Gandhi hits back, says the BJP is trying to divert the attention from the Northeast. No question of apology, says PM Modi uses violence, spreads violence, which is why the entire country is facing violence today. There's violence against women, there's violence in Northeast and Kashmir. Claims have a clip on my phone where Modi ji is calling Delhi a rape capital. Remember, in a public rally on Thursday, Rahul Gandhi had said that Narendra Modi had said make in India, but nowadays, wherever you look, it is rape in India. Delhi's Patiala court postpones the hearing of the plea of Nirbhaya's parents seeking issuance of death warrant and execution of all convicts till 18 December. Nirbhaya's mother moves Supreme Court, says when we have fought for seven years, we can wait for another week. On 18 December, their death warrant will be issued. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman said today that the government's economic reforms are showing impact. We'll continue to address the problems of the industry as and when it's required. While the Chief Economic Advisor K.V. Subramaniam said the government and the PSU dues of 61,000 crores have been cleared in the past two months and 2.3 crore jobs moved from casual worker to salaried worker. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee reiterated today that the West Bengal will not allow implementation of the amended Citizenship Act under any circumstances. She announced a series of rallies across the state to protest the controversial law. The amended act has led to violent protests in Northeast, particularly Assam, where two protesters were killed in police wiring on Thursday evening. Uncertainty looms over Japanese Prime Minister's visit as Guwahati, the planned venue for the summit between Abe and Prime Minister Nain Modi, has been engulfed in violent protest over the Citizenship Amendment Bill. Assam has been witnessing massive protests in the last two days with thousands of people hitting the streets defying the prohibitory orders to demand scrapping of the act. The Supreme Court today declined to pass an order on a petition by two women who sought protection to enter the Sabri Mala Temple in Kerala. The top court said that it has referred the matter to a larger bench and it won't be appropriate to pass an order now. Chief Justice S.A. Bobde said the situation at the moment is explosive. We don't want any violence. The Supreme Court in 2018, in a historic judgment, allowed women of all ages to enter the temple. That's all in this bulletin. Thanks for watching. The news and updates will continue on the other side.